Hello and welcome to another O&DR mod drill video. My name is Damien and in this video we're going to talk about why the project for our Jaguar XK manual conversion is stalling a bit and uh, why I've been sending messages to uh, a guy called Glenn Nielsen. If you're a follower of the channel you'll understand that. So um, a little bit, a bit of splitting, a little bit of my back background. I, I'm a, an engineer. I work for a stamping company, a press shop. We make metal parts. So really, when it came to fabricating the pedal box, that really was my thing, and I got really into it. Uh, I made one for our right-hand drive car. I was quite pleased with it, and I had a, an inquiry off Glenn if I could do the same for a left-hand drive, and that really caught my interest. So. I've developed one for Glenn, I've sent one to him, he's testing that, and there's gonna be some videos about how we refine that, uh, hopefully. Um, I'll say, I, I've, I'd like to think I'm, my expertise are in steel, but Glenn's actually expertise uh, seem to be in the electronic side, i.e. the black box. And my black box is just a pile of wires, and I doubt whether it will actually work. And to get some help in that respect is quite interesting and it's a it's another element of this manual conversion that um is the big unknown the electronics the CAN bus side so getting some help from glenn glenn's developing his own what he's calling the mcm manual control module for his car his car is the 4.2 2003 model so the CAN bus obviously uh, signals are different but he seems to be or is offering to be uh, to develop something for my car the 1996 the early one so that's why i've been sending message to glenn and i've been developing the left hand set of brackets for him so that's that's why i've i've stalled a bit there has been some personal issues as well but i'd rather not go into that so what actually glenn uh, has sent me is this uh can bus monitor uh it plugs into obd2 and it reads the signals from the gearbox and uh, I'm gonna, I need to get my car on the road and get some data from the gearbox in order for, to give some data to Glenn to mimic it. So there comes a the problem. So at the moment, my car is in bits. The exhaust is off, the coolant has been, uh, uh, the header tank's been taken off. Obviously all the wipers, the pedal box is still out. So I'm, I'm a bit stuffed really because I've got really I've got to put it all back get the car running again so I'm thinking to myself I don't really want to go back to square one so I'm actually thinking about fitting my uh, clutch pedal modified pedal box in but only using the brake um, so this is what I, this is what I've done here so I'll try and explain this. This then is my original three bolt uh, pedal box. And you can see the pedal comes off at an angle and it joins the brake pad at an angle here. Now, I've a, this is my adjusted one. Uh, I've upgraded to the four and I've bent the pedal straight. So at this bend point here, um, I've actually bent it straight. So it actually attaches to the pedal with the uh, the actual lever in the sort of right angles. So what I'm planning to do is actually, I've attached an old brake pedal pad. Now my theory is the clutch pedal will join here and I'm actually just gonna tie and wrap it back and leave the cylinder disconnected. That way I can fit my upgraded pedal box, um, bleed the brakes, reconnect the brakes and everything, and then use it as an automatic pedal box, albeit with this offset pedal. And I won't need to remove it again once I've got the data for Glenn. So um, let me know if you think that's a good idea or not. Much appreciated. And hopefully it's not, it's going to be two, it's going to be one step back, uh, two steps backwards, but maybe one step forward doing it this way. I won't have to, because every time, just for every time you take the pedal box off, the um, the brakes at the back have to be disconnected. So you need to bleed the brakes, which is a bit of a pain 
if you're having to take it on and off. So the idea here is that, albeit I'm gonna to have to put everything back together to get Glenn his data through this data logger, uh, but the pedal box will be actually in situ, fully working, just the fact that I have this pad on. So when I do eventually go fully uh, manual, I'll just have to remove this plate, untie wrap the clutch, fit the master cylinder, and away I go. I don't have to take the whole thing out again. That's the idea anyway. So there you go, that's a bit of an, an update where we are the project. Hopefully you understand why we've stalled a little bit and why it's actually maybe a little bit more interesting to get the overall package done together with the pedal box and the electronics, thanks to Glenn. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more about this project and anything XK related. Anyway, thanks very much. Bye bye.